All right, this is uh, a video to talk about how to set up for a lumbar puncture or spinal tap. This is our supply room, and uh, we'll go over all the things that you need to get and gather up for your doc so that you can facilitate uh, the performance of an LP. A couple things you need. You're going to need the LP kit. The LP kits are located uh, right here on the right wall, right above the gloves. There are adult and pediatric LP kits. At this time it looks like there's only some adult ones. And you can pull the kit here and you'll be able to tell uh, uh, usually you can tell right there the three and a half inch needle is the long needle so that's obviously designed for an adult. Um, so you need the uh, LP kit. You're going to need sterile gloves and you're going to need to ask your doc what size gloves they take. So uh, usually good to get maybe an extra pair of gloves around. You're going to need betadine solution, which is located here on the left wall, um, right above the normal saline. You'll see there's uh, these little jars of, uh, these little bottles of betadine. So you'll have your betadine solution. The other thing you'll need is... Uh, usually an extra needle. So the needles are located directly to the left of the LP trays. And the needles come in a couple different varieties. There's adult and pediatrics. So the pediatrics is listed right here as neonatal and you'll see that it's a very small needle that's appropriate for use in the pediatric population. And then you'll notice there's two kinds of uh, needles up here. And I'm going to sort of go over to the left and demonstrate them to you. Uh, one is called a blunt needle and one is called a cutting needle and the difference between these so I don't know if that's going to be come out clear or not but there that's the cutting needle and that is the blunt so the cutting is also called the quinky needle uh, let's see if that no not going to come out directly clear and the blunt needle is called the Whitaker needle and the, the blunt needles actually reduce the incidence of post-LP headache. That's actually a pretty good view of the blunt. And right there is a view of the cutting. And it's hard to see the difference while it's in the packaging. But uh, probably a good idea to get your doc maybe one of each extra and then any extra supplies can always be returned to the uh, storeroom. The other thing to get is to get a face mask. Now the face masks are located further down uh, in the storage room over here on the left hand side. You'll see these blue surgical face masks. And uh, the last two things you need are, you'll see a, there's a mayo stand that I've brought into the supply room. So the mayo stand is this metallic stand uh, that is used both for equipment and for uh, positioning. And so you'll want to make sure there's a mayo stand in the room as well as several blankets because you probably want at least five to six blankets in the room for the dock. And it's those combination of things. Uh, we'll go over them again. So it's the LP kit, which is located on the right-hand side. Uh, the combination of the two different kinds of needles, blunt or cutting. Uh, a mask, gloves, and betadine. Uh, and then a bunch of blankets on a mayo stand, and you're ready for an LP.